Hi, in this package tracer, we'll see uh, how to implement a subnet IPv6 addressing scheme. Okay, so this is the addressing table. The objectives are step one, determine the IPv6 subnets and addressing scheme. Step two, configure IPv6 addressing on routers and PCs. And step three, verify IPv6 connectivity. Okay, background scenario. The network administrators must know how to import IPv6 in their networks. You have been asked to step up a network for use by the sales staff for a customer demonstration. The network will use a series of cons consecutive IPv6 subnets for four LANs. Your job is to assign the subnets to the LANs and configure the routers and PCs with IPv6 addressing. Make certain to configure all the necessary components, components for IPv6 routing on the routers. Instructions. Step 1. Okay, determine the IPv6 subnets and addressing scheme. You have been assigned the IPv6 subnet 2001 column DB8 column ACAD column 00 C8 column column slash 64 as the starting subnet. You will need four more subnets for each network that is required. Increment the subnet addresses consecutively by one to arrive at the four required subnets. Complete table below. Okay, so this is the table, the subnet table that we need to complete. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Step 2. Configure IPv6 addressing on routers and PCs. Complete the dressing table above to use as a guide for configuring the devices. Okay, so this is simple, right? Okay. Let's pick up this table. Let's put it here. I like to use the Excel. So we can use for so IPv6 is easy to do the subnet. It just you just increment it, okay? Because this these bits here they are used for subnet, okay? So different from the IPv4 and IPv6, it's easier to do the subnetting. So what I'm doing here is just basically I'm incrementing the subnet ID, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five, five different subnets. Okay. Now, for IPv6 addressing on routers and PCs, complete the addressing table above to use as a guide for configuring the devices. Assign the first IPv IP address in the subnet to the router LAN interface. Okay, so the first IP addresses in the subnet are for router LAN interfaces. So we'll copy this table. And I'll use this one too. Okay, better. So, okay. The first IP, okay, for the interface of the router. So, the interface 0, 0 already have the address. Now, the address for gigabit 0, 1 first gigabit 
now for router 2 gigabit 00, zero. Okay, I'll use the second. Wait, oh, sorry, this one. And then for router 2, gigabit 01. This one, okay. And then we have the connection between router R1 and R2, which is a serial connection. I will put the first IP address for router 1 and and the second IP address to router 2. Okay. Now let's see. Send first IP address in the subnet to the router lens. Okay, router lands. Interface zero, and then routing okay because this is this is important first to activate type pv6 routing now first the interface gigabit zero zero now the ipv6 address Get the link local. Okay. I forget to activate the port, shut down. Now, gigabit zero one. Let's make it easier. Okay. Some steps back. Okay. The link local address. And activate the port. Okay. Let's see the status of the interfaces. And both interfaces are configured at a pv6 address link local and they are up okay and as you can see they are up both now let's go to the router 2 activate the pv6 routing now Okay. Link local. Bit port. Shut down. Interface. You get bit one. Sorry. This is okay, CB column 
column 164. Okay. And the link local. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was mistaken. The link local. It's two. Shut down. Okay, let's change it on the gigabit zero zero. Let's see the configuration. Okay. The link locals. Okay. And for both interfaces, C A and C B and both interfaces are up. Okay. Well, I think it's okay. Now let's continue. Assign the first IP address in the subnet to the router LAN interface, okay, assign the link local addresses as designated in the address step, okay, uh, we, we have already done that. For the connection between the routers, assign the first address in subnet to router 1, okay. For the connection between the routers, serial interface, the first address in subnet to router 1, okay, and for the connection between the routers, assign the second address in the subnet to router number 2, okay. That's exactly what I have done. Okay, here in this in the dressing table. So interface serial zero slash zero slash zero PV6 address. Zero zero CC column column one slash sixty four. Okay, and link local and activate the port. Now let's see. Okay, correctly configured. Okay, the link local and the IPv6 address, it continues. The interface is on because we need to activate the other serial interface in the router 2. So both will come up if they are correctly configured. CC column column 2 slash 64 6 address Okay, now let's activate the port. Sorry, my mistake. Sometimes I try to write fast and I, I mistake myself. Okay, now it's correct. Let's activate the port. And it changed to up. Okay. And G. Okay. Let's remove the other IP address. Okay, now it's okay. The link local address, as you can see, and we have the IPv6 address too. Okay. As you can see now, they are both up. So, for the connection between the routers, assign second. Okay, it's done. Set all four hosts to automatically configure the IPv6 address. Okay. Let's go to the hosts. Let's activate it. Okay, okay, it's static. 
let's change it okay to auto configure okay this one's working now auto configuration working auto configuration working and last one auto configuration and it's working okay as you can see you have already uh, completed the 100 percent but we have step three which is uh, verify connectivity the pcs should be able to ping each other if addressing has been configured properly okay we can make a test okay let's ping pc2 okay Okay, I think it's working. Now let's test with PC3. Okay, try to not make mistakes copying the IP. Okay, and it's working. Now let's see with last PC. And it's working. Well, I think it's all. Thank you.